Hi, welcome to the channel. Today's video, we're going to do a quick test of the Audi Adventurage three-piece lightweight camping set of cookware. So you get basically two saucepans and a frying pan. It's currently on sale for $9.99. So I've bought a cheap reduced steak from Morrison's, got my little rock, pocket rocket to stove out. So we'll give it a little bit of a test and we'll just see if the weight is correct and stuff. So. Basic specs, lightweight anodized aluminium cookware, corrosion resistant uh, surface, compact design with the space saving handles which fold around themselves and they all easily store and they nest each side each other. So 630 grams according to the box but we'll weigh that and um, double check it. So there's the full set in its little nest and looks like quite a generous uh, stretchy bag for it as well. So a nice little mini saucepan and you can see the way the handles work quite well and obviously a decent lid with a little bit of a plastic handle so you should be able to take it off when it's hot without burning your fingers. Pretty sizeable pan. And another nice lid. And they are pretty lightweight and then pretty small little frying pan. But it does have a decent amount of depth, so you can probably put quite a bit of food in there without it falling out. So first impressions, yeah, for $9.99, like most things in Little, little Now, you can't really go wrong. So let's uh, get a little steak on and, and just see how it cooks. So you can see the pan is actually curved, so it's raised in the middle so all the juices go around the outside and then the middle bit just burns onto the bottom of the steak. Well it could just take without any problems. Now obviously I'm using the very small pocket rocket 2 stove so it's got a very intense flame right in the middle of the bottom of the pan so obviously that causes the heat up, causes the middle to rise and causes that little bump. Obviously it would work better if you have a much wider gas thing. I mean, the, the Pocket Rocket 2, you can cook things with it absolutely fine, but it's more designed for boiling the water and stuff. Having said that, the pan cleaned off pretty well. Now I am actually going camping tomorrow with my youngest, so we're actually going to a proper campsite. So we're gonna cook some food. So I'm gonna use this to cook a load of sausages, and I'm gonna use probably one of the smaller pans to cook just some baked beans and stuff. So give it a little bit, bit more of a test, but actually for $9.99, it packs away really neatly and easily and is nice and lightweight. And the larger saucepan lid also fits on the frying pan as well. So just a nice little extra bit of uh, usefulness there. So we'll catch up when we're somewhere above the Brecon Beacons in a proper campsite. Well, we're back from our camping trip. We used the frying pan again, this time with the lid, and we cooked up a load of chipolata sausages. And I had no cooking oil or butter or anything, so they just had to go in dry. So that has left quite a big blackened mess on the pan. So we're gonna go and see if we can wash it out. It's Saturday night I used it, it's now Monday night. So it's had a bit of time just to congeal and solidify. So we'll see how well it cleans up after a pretty typical usage. Well, after a good scrub, it's come up pretty well. Um, given I didn't have any, any oil and just cooked completely fresh onto it, it wasn't too bad to clean, so it'll definitely be good for frying the never day. And on the second use, I used it with my um, Expo alcohol burner, which has a bit more of a diffuse flame, so I didn't get the lump in the bottom. It cooked really well, actually. So yeah, the frying pan is generally the toughest bit of kit when you're buying any kind of cooking set because it has the hardest work to do. The kind of pans, if you're using like soup or liquidy type things, don't have to worry about stuff getting stuck to them. It's a frying pan that really takes all the abuse. So I assume the pans are going to, uh, the sort of saucepans are going to work equally as well as this little frying pan. 
it's enough more to say really, it is what it is. $9.99 for a nice little pan set. So if you're in the set for a reasonably lightweight outdoor cooking solution, then this free pan set makes a lot of sense for $9.99. So go down to Audi and grab yourself a set before they sell out. Now, if this video has been of any use to you, do subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of budget gear. And if you've got any questions, anything I've not covered, I'm gonna keep this cooking set. So just drop a comment and I'll uh, get back to you. Anyway, huge thanks for watching and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.